Okay, I'm going to give you an overview of the Simple SMS script. And uh, it's a PHP script. You host it yourself on your own server that supports PHP 5. Most uh, web hosting companies allow that or have that support today. So uh, it should work on virtually you know, or most any hosting account. You do not need a database. Uh, you just upload the script and you activate it with your uh, purchase uh, transaction ID and you're good to go. Um, each script comes, uh, depending on what package you get, there's multiple activations available. So um, this is an interface for Twilio.com. Twilio provides text message, uh, local phone numbers, and phone services. It's an application development platform. And unless you're a developer, uh, you can't really take advantage of it. So this script is an interface to that platform and uh, gets it to do the things we want it to do by creating and managing text message lists. So um, you plug in your Twilio account information and save that and then you're off and running. So in this example I've set up a uh, one list here. I have a number I've already purchased through Twilio. I, that's only a dollar a month for a phone number. You get that number all to yourself. You don't share it with anyone, which means you can use any keyword you want. You, it's not like the short code services where you have to share keywords um, and pay uh, a lot of money for each of those keywords. So um, this is a dollar a month and two cents a message, and that will never or that will not change based on, uh, on the number of keywords or lists you have. Uh, it only is based on your usage. So, um, so I've set up a keyword of pizza or a list called pizza. So if someone texts that keyword into my number, it will reply. If they're a new subscriber, here's the message they receive. Uh, you can insert merge fields for dates. So if you want to set an expiration date, that's a certain number of days in the future. In this case, we've set it. We're entering a date that's seven days in the future. So when they get their reply. It will, it will say expires and then the date seven days from now. Uh, if they're already a subscriber and they send the word pizza again, they get this message. So this could be the same message or different. It really just depends on what you type in here. Uh, the third message possibility is if they are had unsubscribed from this pizza list and now they're getting back on the list. You can just say thank you for coming back or whatever you type in here, that's what they're going to get. Now, as you type your messages, you'll see there's a little message, uh, number counter here. It's a character count to let you know how many, how many characters you have left. You have up to 160 characters. So as you type, it counts down to let you know what you have left there. Um, then you can view your subscribers and send messages to them. Click Send Message and type it and send, and off it goes to your whole list. Now, um, People can unsubscribe anytime. If they reply with the word stop, it will take them off your list. And um, as well as uh, make sure to accidentally keep uh, sending messages to them. Um, but uh, you can add as many keywords as you want, as many lists as you want. And you can install this script in multiple locations. So uh, let's say this is for a particular client, your pizza client and you want to install another script for another client, you can do that by just uploading it to another location or giving it a new name, copying it to another uh, spot on your server or your client server, and then you can charge them whatever you want for that activation of that script or managing it for them. So um, that's that's the gist of it. It's pretty simple. Um, it's it's easy. We got little help icons here. If you click on anything, uh, these icons it tells you a description on what this field is, how to use the date merge fields and that type of thing, um, how to go set up your Twilio account and and all that. So um, check this out and uh, take advantage of the low price right now. And uh, of course, let me know what you think.